What do we mean when we say 3 raised to negative 2? Now to understand the meaning of negative exponents, we need to stop thinking that negative exponent means repeated multiplication, because it is not. Negative exponent has a different definition, and that is what we are going to discuss in this video. Now before we define negative exponent, we have the following prerequisites. First, we need to know the meaning of positive integer exponent. Second, we need to know the product of powers property. And third, we need to know the meaning of zero exponent. Once we understand all of these three things, we will understand the logic why negative exponents are defined the way it is. Now let's review the meaning of positive integer exponent. When the exponent is a positive integer, exponentiation is defined as repeated multiplication. The expression b raised to n means n copies of b multiplied together. So for example, 2 raised to 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. 3 raised to 5 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 243. 7 raised to 1 equals 7. 1 half raised to 2 equals 1 half times 1 half equals 1 fourth. Negative 2 raised to 4 equals negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 equals 16. Now using this definition, we will prove one property of exponents, which is the product of powers. Let's say we have b raised to m times b raised to n. That is, two exponential expressions with the same base multiplied together. If the two exponents are positive integers, then by definition, this means m copies of b multiplied together times n copies of b multiplied together. So in total, how many copies of b are there? There are m plus n copies of b multiplied together. So if there are m plus n copies of b multiplied together, then by definition, that means b is raised to m plus n. This leads us to the following property of exponents. The product of two exponential expressions with the same base is equal to the base raised to the sum of the exponents. b raised to m times b raised to n equals b raised to m plus n. Now to show this, let's evaluate 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to 2. This is equal to 4 2's multiplied together times 2 2's multiplied together. Now this is equal to 16 times 4, and 16 times 4 is 64. Now let's evaluate 2 raised to 4 plus 2, or 2 raised to 6. This equals 6 2's multiplied together, which is equal to 64. Now using the property of product of powers, we can now define the meaning of zero exponent. Let's say we have 3 raised to 0 times 3 squared. Now by property of product of powers, this equals 3 raised to 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2, so we have 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. So therefore, 3 raised to 0 times 3 squared is equal to 9, or 3 raised to 0 times 9 equals 9. But for this equation to be true, then what must be the value of 3 raised to 0 so that when multiplied to 9 gives 9? That value is 1, because any number multiplied to 1 equals the number. So therefore, 3 raised to 0 must be equal to 1. This leads us to the following definition. Any non-zero number b raised to 0 is equal to 1. For example, 2 raised to 0 equals 1. Negative 1 third raised to 0 equals 1. 0 0.67 raised to 0 equals 1. 5 over 7 raised to 0 equals 1. Negative 6 raised to 0 equals 1. But take note that 0 raised to 0 is undefined.
Now using the definition of zero exponent, we can now define the meaning of negative exponent. Let's say we have 5 cubed times 5 raised to negative 3. By property of product of powers, this equals 5 raised to 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0, so we have 5 raised to 0. And we know that 5 raised to 0 is 1. So therefore, 5 cubed times 5 raised to negative 3 is equal to 1. But for this equation to be true, then what must be the value of 5 raised to negative 3 so that when multiplied with 5 cubed gives 1? That value is the reciprocal of 5 cubed, which is 1 over 5 cubed. Because any non-zero number multiplied by its reciprocal equals 1. So therefore, 5 raised to negative 3 must be equal to 1 over 5 cubed. This leads us to the following definition. Any non-zero number b raised to negative n, where n is a positive integer, is equal to 1 over b raised to n. For example, 3 raised to negative 1 equals 1 over 3 raised to 1 equals 1 third. 2 raised to negative 3 equals 1 over 2 raised to 3 equals 1 over 8. Negative 5 raised to negative 2 equals 1 over square of negative 5 equals 1 over 25. But take note that 0 raised to negative integer is undefined. Now I hope this helped you understand the meaning of negative exponents. Again, do not think of it as repeated multiplication because that's impossible. Think of it as a definition because it is actually a definition. Thanks for watching.